Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Keen. In this video, we'll be discussing on Keen's Webpack build tools and how you can customize it for your project. So, first thing you need to do is purchase and download Keen. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. So, once uh, you have that in your computer already, open up the Keen folder um, with the IDE of your choice. What we are using here is VS Code. So to look to find Keen's Webpack configuration, just go to the theme and then tools folder, and then go to Webpack. Well, before Webpack, there's actually this file here called Webpack config. Well, this Webpack config just defines um, how, how the Webpack is supposed to work in Keen. But what you really need to uh, look at is within Webpack folder, there will be uh, scripts.demo1.js um, and then in here you see all of Keen's scripts. Um, what we're defining here is just like our layout chat, our demo panels and whatnot. If your project doesn't require anything, any of these, you can just remove it. However, if you look into the Webpack plugins folder, there will be another sort of index for all plugins that Keen uses. So in here, we can see that we are using jQuery, Bootstrap, Popper, and so on. Now, these are um, Keen's mandatory plugins. So we uh, highly recommend for you guys to not remove any one of these. And then in here, we have our optional plugins. Now, in optional plugins, um, if your project doesn't require any one of it, you are uh, free to just remove it by just deleting the whole line like so. Or if you want to use it in the future, like you just want to temporarily um, disable it, you can just comment it out like so. Now, if you want to add your own plugin globally, what we mean by globally means if this plugin is being used throughout the entire project, quite often, for example, maybe 90% or 80% or of the time, most of your pages will require this plugin, then we uh, suggest you to include it globally. So what it does is you can just add your plugin here, and then you can just require your plugin. Now there's two ways to require your plugin. One first way is if your plugin is available via uh, package manager like NPM or Yarn, you need to, you need to first install that um, via npm or yarn and then include it with the plugin name. So it'll be like so plugin name. This is if it's included via npm or yarn. That means through a package manager. Now, if your project is not available through a package manager, then you will need to add it yourself. So what you do is you just add your, um, what do you call it, your plugin within the source folder, for example, within demo one, you go to source, go to plugins, and then just put it somewhere here. Like you create a new folder and then you just put your plugin there. And what you do is you need to write the path to that plugin. So for example, you can put it like SRC and then uh, JS and then plugins or vendors. If your, your JS is in a vendor folder, to do that, you can just put it in here, but you can just put it in plugins, and then this is say my plugin, plugin, and then say plugin.js or something. And what this does is it just adds your plugin globally within Keen. Now if your plugin doesn't isn't required to be included globally, means you want to add your plugin to a specific page, or say in your entire project, this plugin is only only, only going to be used for one or uh, one page or two pages, or basically minimum amount of time. Uh, what you want to do is you want to add it to a custom plugin as a custom plugin. Sorry. So to do that, if you go into your Webpack folder under plugins, under custom, as you can see here, these are all the um, custom plugins that Keen has already included. 
all you need to do is you just have to create a new folder and create a yeah, new folder for your plugin and in there you then include the require script so for example if you look into like a ck editor so in here all we have to do is let's minimize this just include um the require uh, path so for example in where's my plugin so in here we create a new file call say my plugin but yes and in here you can just require equals oh sorry require and then path to plugin or if your plugin needs to have a this to be initialized within the window then you put window then say plugin equals this and so on so once you've done that then what you do is you just uh, run the, the webpack command which is npm um, run build which and then the demo name and then what what, ha what happen is and um, webpack would then build all your assets and all your JS and all your SaaS accordingly, and then push it to uh, your assets folder. Now, this is how you can add custom JS files or custom JS plugins into your project via Webpack. For SaaS, it's defined in this SaaS folder within the Webpack folder. So in the plugin SaaS, you can see that it's including um, certain things that is mandatory which is we state we state here and then these are optional plug uh, optional sas files that uh, is required by keen if you do not again if you do not need any one of this for example if you do not need form validation just comment it out or remove it altogether again if you have your own plugin you can just uh, import your plugin like so say add my plugin now where does this plugin come from for example if you add your plugin within this folder here and how do you reference it so if you see this flat icons here and flat icon 2 here and this is an example of how you can include the css so if you open flat icon 2 you can see the css right here and what this does is you need the squiggly line and then the at symbol and then you put a slash source which is going to reference this folder here and slash uh, the path to it so which is plugins and as this is say my plugin and then say plugin.css if it has CSS if it doesn't you can just not include this line and you're good to go so now let's undo all that and uh, let's just delete this just in case and undo all this as well and let's look at our documentation so if you look into our keen's documentation here and you go to our build tools to webpack and in here we can see uh, our command lines so to build uh, keen using webpack this is a command we need to put in uh, npm run build and then demo one and again where do, where do we run this is within the tools folder so if you go to our keen you go to team you go to tools we open up uh, our command line and then we then run this put it here we will then build the assets for demo one and deploy it into our assets folder but we have a few other um, commands that we, uh, command options for webpack the next one we have is npm run watch and what it does is it will just watch for any changes within the source and then the moment it detects any changes within the sas or js files it will then just compile build and then deploy it to the assets folder automatically and then we have a localhost command all it does is it 
creates a localhost environment for your demo de your demo of choice, which is this, and then you can just um, test uh, the test Keen using a localhost localhost environment. Now, Keen's Webpack build tools also allows you to do a couple of things. For example, we can uh, build the assets or rather the the CSS or stylings using an RTL method. And what RTL means is right to left. So your projects will be um, enabling right to left languages such as Arabic. Uh, what you do is you just have to run um, the build, the run build command with this additional flag called RTL equals true. So if we do that, we run build and you know, let's just copy the whole entire thing. And maybe before you before you run the command, let's look at what we build. So if you go to this, you go to assets, you go to CSS, we see our styles and um, um, style bundle and JS. And then if we run this, all right, it's done. As you can see, we now have an RTL version. So that's all it does. It just creates an additional RTL version. So all you have to do in your projects is just include this CSS and then your projects is now RTL enabled. We also have a prod flag. What this means is it's going to create a uh, production-like build where it minifies all your assets. So if you look into our like style, okay, the moment, okay, Maybe one thing we need to explain is the moment you put RTL equals true, it will always render or produce in a production build. So let's go ahead and remove that to reset our assets. All right, our assets are, are resetted. So let's go ahead and run uh, this command to minify our files, our assets. So as you see, it's all readable and nicely formatted. The moment we run our production build, it will then minify everything. So just keep in mind that if the moment you run the RTL flag, it will always create a production build regardless. All right, it's done. As you can see, our assets are now minified like so. So back to this, we can also build uh, our CSS or JS individually if we so choose. So let's say if you are doing any modification to our SAS uh, in, within your project and you do not really want to do any JS build, you just have to run this command and then it will only build the CSS or this command and then we only build the JavaScript files. Now, the next portion of our documentation is what we discussed earlier in this video, where to add a new plugin within Webpack, you first need to add the Yarn package or the package via a uh, package manager, whether it's Yarn or NPM, doesn't really matter. Uh, if it's available within a package manager, add it via the package manager, and then um, add the required uh, line. However, if your package or your, your plugin is not available within a package manager, just um, add, it, uh, add the whole entire path into the required method and that's it, you're good to go. And again, sometimes um, some plugins will require a, a, some way to initialize your code via a global window um, method or function, then you need to include this as well. This is all depending on your plugin, so um, just ensure that you are aware of that. And again, if you need CSS, you include it within the plugin.js um, uh, file or plugin.sas file, which is located here. And this is some additional reading just to explain what um, each file is um, represents within our webpack folder so have a read of that if you need more information all right that is it for this video i hope you find this video informative if you did please give us a like 
And also please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time when we release a new Keen video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias. Uh, links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.